Welcome to the TV News with some latest events in Tanning Province. The Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism, in collaboration with Tanning Tourism Association, has just welcomed the Northern VTF delegation to conduct a three-day survey program, Tanning Journey to the Heritage. Joining the survey, there were leaders of 10 tourism service businesses from Hanoi and Northern Provinces. The delegation visited and surveyed cultural, historical, and spiritual tourist attractions, such as visiting Binh Thanh Ancient Tower, located in Trang Bang Tau, Cao Sơn Tử Gò Kén Pagoda, Cao Đài Holy See, Conquer Ba Đen Mountain, the roof of the south, exploring the 300 years old Linh Sơn Thiên Thạch Tử Pagoda, and surveying Mumbai International Body Gate. The delegation also enjoys local specialties, especially the vegetarian dishes of Tanning, a type of culinary culture that has been honored in the list of national intangible cultural heritage, etc. They also visited Hoang Ngoc Binh Ati, Tam Lang Thi facilities, and La Farm Stay, etc. The Director of Tanning Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism Trung Phan Hùng shared that tourism is currently identified as one of the three strategic economic sectors of Tanning Province. The infrastructure of tourist areas has also been invested more. This is a favorable condition to promote businesses to investing, build new and more professional tourism products. The survey is an opportunity for local tourism businesses to build products, connect and strengthen two-way tourism, as well as introduce new typical tourism products obtaining province to travel agencies and tourism management agencies in the north. Businesses dealing in services and tourism products in the north, especially travel agencies, can organize tours to bring tourists to this potential land and many scenic spots, especially spiritual tourism. The Department of Tourism and the Tourism Association of Ho Chi Minh City on May 14 kicked off the 18 Ho Chi Minh City Tourism Festival 2022 at Levang Tam Park District 1 from May 14 to 17. This year's event has the participation of 50 provinces, 38 tourism service businesses, 11 restaurants and allies. This year, Tanning participates in the exhibition space of tourist destination and specialties in Vietnam. Tanning Center for Tourism Information and Promotion, Tanning Tourism Association, and businesses dealing in tourism services and specialties in the province introduced typical products of Tanning such as the Westic Rice Paper, Trim Salt, Hoang Ngoc Binh A Tea, etc. The festival is also an opportunity for Tanning to introduce its potential strengths and investment opportunities for tourism development, to introduce its products and types of tourism associated with festivals, specialties, traditional craft villages, and especially its popular spiritual tourism. This time, Tanning would like to introduce to local and foreign tourists a tourist route from Ho Chi Minh City to Bà National Tourist Area, one of the most crowded tourist attractions of Tanning Province, which have been implemented very effectively by several travel agency, And to further promote this advantage, Tanning is collaborating with SACO to deploy three typical tour clusters to serve tourists wishing to visit places around Bà Đen Mountain so that they have the opportunity to experience more tourism products. As part of the festival, there will be national seminars on regional linkages in training and development of high-quality tourism human resources in Vietnam after the COVID-19 pandemic, program Vietnam Tourism Seminar, Opportunities and Challenges in Summer 2022, online meeting and exchange program with travel bloggers, etc. This is an annual activity to create favorable conditions for localities and businesses to access and introduce about tourism products and services to tourists, contributing to promoting tourism development links with other regions in the coming time. The Youth Union of Houghton Town has just launched the program Tinan Youth with Digital Transformation and the direction of implementing the solution. Each member wants a cut on professional management software for membership activities. 
Modern 40 grassroots union officials were providing an overview of digital transformation, purpose, meaning, role, importance, and urgency of digital transformation in state agencies, organizations, businesses, and people. In addition, the youth union officials were also instructed on how to install and use the MB Bank app in professional management of union members' work, as well as in the method of organizing activities of branches, thereby contributing to the digital transformation in the area. Turn to other news. On May 14, the youth union branch of the Department of Labor, Invalids and Social Affairs coordinated with other branches organized a returning to the roots tour to Sumong Bay's Yuman Gyal district with many meaningful activities. During this tour, there were the youth union branches obtaining radio and television stations, the Department of Culture, Sports and Tourism, the Department of Science and Technology, the youth union branch of the Provincial General Hospital, and the city public security station. Members of the youth union branches cleaned up and embellished the grounds of the base. After the ceremony of offering incense to commemorate heroes and martyrs who have heroically sacrificed themselves at this Bay Area, they were propagating and educating on Marxism and Leninism and Ho Chi Minh's thought on sovereignty over sea and islands, demarcation and marking of landmarks on the mainland, etc by Mr. Huynh An Hy, Deputy Head of the Propaganda Department of Human Health District Party Committee. Besides, the youth union members also planted 100 trees at Sudafang Intercommunal Cemetery. On May 15, the 15th day of the Fourth Lunar Moon, the Secretary Board of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in Tainan Province held the Lord Buddha's 2,566th birthday on behalf of the Ashram Most Venerable Thich Tam. Deputy Head of the Executive Board of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in the Province read the message of Buddha 2566 birthday from Most Venerable Thich Thế Quang, 18 Supreme Patriots of the Patronate Council of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha. He called on Buddhists to further promote the tradition of protecting the nation and the people, accompanying the nation, each monk and nun should upon the spirit of discipline, responsibility, solidarity, development, and build Vietnamese Buddhism to the part of Dharma, nationalism, socialism. Venerable Thich Thinh Thuc, Vice Chairman and Chief Secretary of the Secretary Board of Vietnam Buddhist Sangha in the province, delivered the Buddha 2566 birthday speech by the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha's Executive Council. This year's celebration also coincides with the Buddhist delegate congresses of provinces and cities for the 2022-2027 term toward the Nine National Buddhist Congress to be held in November 2022 in Hanoi. Deputy Head of the Commission for Mass Mobilization, directly under the Provincial Party Committee Nguyễn Văn Trung, acknowledged and praised the local Buddhists for their contributions to social charity activities, especially during the time of social distancing due to the COVID-19 pandemic. He expressed hopes that dignitaries and Buddhist followers of Tinan province will continue to promote the ethical values of religion and effectively participate in patriotic emulation movement, joining hands with local authorities to build an increasingly stronger great unity block of the province. Over the last time, under the close direction of the party committee, the Directorate of Training Department of Public Security, the officials and soldiers of the police office for the administrative management of social order have made great efforts to overcome difficulties, apply synchronous breakthrough solutions, strive to successfully complete key tasks, contributing to maintaining political security, social order and safety, effectively serving the economic and social development of the province. As soon as the Ministry of Public Security opened the National Population Database and Citizen Identity Card Production, Issuance and Management on February 25, 2021, the Directorate of Training Department of Public Security focused on directing and assigning tasks to the police office for the administrative management of social order. This is both the responsibility and honor of the People's Public Security Forces. 
during the complicated development of the COVID-19 pandemic with the determination from the leaders to each official. They focused on implementing on aspects of work to speed up the progress. JPC's office has classified four groups of tests, including 48 specific ones. We also define how to proceed with each test and when to complete it. For each test, we develop a specific plan for each area at district and communal levels. Every day, we will compile the data to report, to evaluate and learn from experience. We will advise the directorate to give specific instructions and remove difficulties in the implementation process. The Police Office for Administrative Management of Social Order maximized forces. Hundreds of officials and soldiers from the province to the grassroots have put aside personal and family happiness, regardless day and night, quickly completing the process of granting citizen identification cards and the population data collection campaign. The issue of citizen identification has been implemented very quickly. In order to complete the digital data, our team has been working very hard, regardless day and night. Even Saturday and Sunday, there are always officers on duty to receive citizens. Up to now, the National Population Database of the Department of Public Security has basically been completed and integrated into the national population data. Especially in the first peak period, the officials and soldiers of the office exceeded 385% of the plan, recognized and praised by the Ministry of Public Security and the Provincial People's Committee. The National Population Database has created a premise to connect, promote online public services, deploy an electronic identification and authentication system, simplify administrative procedures toward the goal of national digital transformation, etc. In order to implement the two mentioned projects, the Police Office for the Administrative Management of Social Order has also done well in the COVID-19 prevention and control, as well as ensure security and order in the area. With the silent dedication during the past time, many collectives and individuals of the force were honored to be awarded certificates of merit by the Prime Minister, the Ministry of Public Security, and the Provincial People's Committee. The Director of the Department of Public Security also presented many certificates of merit to units and individuals with outstanding achievements. The result is the motivation a baggage that gives more confidence and strength so that the staff of the police office for the administrative management of social order always try to successfully complete on a side task. That's all for today's TV news. Thanks for watching and see you next time.